हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ इज डॉक्टर एस ए खैरनार एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन बॉटनी एम ई समाज एस वी के टी कॉलेज देवड़ाली कैम्प स्टूडेंट्स यू आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर विथ मी दैट वी आर लर्निंग दी टॉपिक मार्फोलॉजी एंड एनाटॉमी इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज बिफोर दिस वीडियो वी लर्न दी टॉपिक दी फॉर्म्स ऑफ केलेक्स दैट इज वॉट ए वन ऑफ दी फ्लोरल वॉल इन दैट फॉर्म्स ऑफ केलेक्स वी स्वा और वी लर्न डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एस्टिवेशंस इन फ्लावर स्पेशली विथ कंसर्न टू केलेक्स एंड करोला वी स्वा दी फ्लोरल वर्ल केलेक्स एंड देयर टाइप्स इन दैट वी स्वा पॉलिसेपेलस केलेक्स गैमोसेपेलस केलेक्स वी ऑल्सो लर्न और स्टडीड दी मॉडिफिकेशन सीन और ऑब्जर्व इन दी केलेक्स द मॉडिफिकेशन्स आर लाइक पैपस केलेक्स पेटेलॉइड केलेक्स स्पर्ड केलेक्स एंड स्पाइनस केलेक्स दैन वी ऑल्सो केम टू नो वॉट आर दी मेन फंक्शन्स ऑफ केलेक्स The main function of calyx is what giving protection to the inner floral world because the calyx is a outermost whorl of a flower. So this is what recap of our previous video. Then we what is the agenda of uh, our uh, this video? The agenda of this session is what that we want to learn a next part of a flower that is what a Carola, that is a second most whorl of a flower. In our today's agenda, we want to see a form of carola, types of carola. What are the main types of carola? Are there specially polypetalous carola, gamopetalous carola? Then we also uh, specially see what is poly, what are the different forms of in polypetalous carola? What are the different forms in gamopetalous carola? and uh, lastly like a earlier floral whorl we also want to uh, study or get know the function of corolla and uh, uh, in some flower we cannot recognize uh, calyx and corolla separately especially in monopot flowers there is a whorl with a same color and when whorl with a same color so that whorl is treated as a perian so in this video along with the corolla we also want to get understand or learn the uh, perianth whorl of a flower so this is what our uh, uh, agenda of today's uh, session and what are the objectives of uh, learning this today's session so objectives of learning this today's session are to know the corolla and its type what is mean by corolla and what are the different types of corolla to study the different forms of corolla Uh, like polypetalous corolla gamopetalous corolla uh, then we also want to uh, see what are the different forms in uh, polypetalous corolla what are the different forms in gamopetalous corolla we also want to study the function of corolla what is the main function of corolla uh, like a calyx and uh, lastly uh, we also want to uh, study uh, the perianth whorl of a flower when we cannot uh, recognize uh, calyx and corolla separately or we cannot make differentiation because of a same color of a whorl and that time that whorl is treated as a perianth and today we also want to uh, study uh, the whorl perianth of a flower so these are what the object learning objectives of our today's video now we will see corolla and its types what is mean by corolla and what are the different types of corolla uh, like a calyx uh, the corolla is also a part of flower the corolla is a second whorl of a flower next present next to calyx uh, generally it is white or bright colored whorl of a flower its each member is called as a petal it is larger than sepal and it may symmetrical or asymmetrical in nature means the petals may be of same size and uh, same structure or it may be of different size and different structure when the petals are of same size and same structure so that may form a 
symmetrical flower and when they are in different size and shape so that may form a asymmetrical flower uh, then uh, this corolla this is what a second most non essential whorl of a flower generally it is colored uh, then uh, why it is called as a non essential because it do not takes place uh, direct part in the process of fertilization and reproduction and that's why it is called as a non essential whorl of a flower uh, then we will see uh, the forms of uh, uh, the corolla is of two types when the petals are remain free from one another in a flower so such corolla is treated as a polypetalous corolla and when petals are united and they may form like a uh, they may form tube like structure or different shape structures tube so such corolla is called as a gamopetalous corolla these are the two basic forms of a uh, corolla so uh, in the uh, these two basic form uh, again there are some modifications or some types so now we will going to see the different forms of polypetalous corolla means uh, the corolla uh, free and what are the different forms of free corolla corolla we can see in the flowers so first form of free corolla is what called as a cruciform corolla here you can see the image there are four petals are seen and these four petals are arranged in a cross means two petals are exactly opposite to one another and they are forming a cross like structure so uh, cruciform corolla means what in this type four petals are present in a cross and uh, each petal having a lower narrow part elongated part that is called as a claw and uh, upper outer broad part that is called as a limb so cruciform corolla uh, petal uh, possessing the limb and claw like uh, structure and it is called as a cruciform because they are present in a cross manner and generally this kind of cruciform corolla is a characteristic feature of the flowers of family cruciferi or brassicaceae you can consider uh, the example of cruci cruciform corolla as a uh, flower of uh, mustard that is what one of the common example of cruciform corolla the next form of the uh, polypetalous corolla uh, that is what a papilionaceous corolla so this is a special kind of uh, corolla it is like a papillion and that's why it is it has given a name papilionaceous corolla so here in this papilionaceous corolla five unequal petals are present they are free uh, in that five the outermost posterior petal is a somewhat larger larger one and that is called as a standard petal or vexillum and this standard petal or vexillum uh, covers the two lateral petals and that two lateral petals are called as a wing petals the one end of wing petal is covered by the standard petal or vexillum uh, then uh, again uh, the smaller lowermost petals are called as a keel again there are uh, two petals are present at the lower side they are called as a keel or carina and along the lower side they forms a boat like boat shape structure again here uh, this keel or carina is overlapped by the wing petal at the upper side and in this way a typical papilionaceous corolla is developed and this is what uh, develops a zygomorphic nature of flower these are the two forms of polypetalous corolla in both these forms uh, cruciform corolla and papilionaceous corolla petals are remain uh, free the example of the papilionaceous corolla is what papilionaceous corolla is a characteristic feature of flowers of family papilionaceae so many examples are there uh, the flower of pea is there flower of clitoria or gokarna is there flower of pulus is there so these are what an examples of the cruciform papilionaceous corolla now we will see uh, the some of the forms of gamopetalous corolla 
सो आर्लियर टू आर दी फॉर्म्स ऑफ पॉलीपेटल स्करोला इन विच पेटल्स आर रिमेन फ्री नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू सी दी फॉर्म्स ऑफ गैमोपेटल स्करोला हियर द पेटल्स आर रिमेन यूनाइटेड एंड दे आर ऑल्सो डेवलपिंग दी डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स दी देर आर अबाउट फोर फॉर्म्स ऑफ गैमोपेटल करोला स्पे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी गैमोपेटल करोला मीन्स ए करोला इन विच पेटल्स आर रिमेन यूनाइटेड विथ वन अनादर इन दी गैमोपेटल करोला द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट फॉर्म इज वॉट ए कंपेनुलेट करोला इन दी कंपेनुलेट फॉर्म ऑफ करोला देर आर फाइव पेटल्स दे आर यूनाइटेड एंड देर यूनियन इज दे फॉर्म से बेल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दे आर अरेंज एंड दे फॉर्म से बेल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन सी दी फर्स्ट इमेज दैट इज वॉट शोइंग दी बेल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए करोला एंड दिस बेल लाइक शेप ऑफ यूनाइटेड करोला और यूनाइटेड पेटल दैट इज वॉट कॉल्ड एज ए कॉम्पेनुलेट करोला द एग्जाम्पल इज वॉट ए यू कैन सी दी कॉम्पेनुलेट करोला इन दी फ्लावर ऑफ टोबैको प्लांट द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ गैमोपेटल करोला फॉर्म इज वॉट फनेल शेप और इन फंडीबुली फॉर्म करोला हियर ऑल्सो देर आर फाइव पेटल्स इन ए फ्लावर दे आर यूनाइटेड एंड देर यूनियन इज फॉर्मिंग ए फनेल शेप्ड स्ट्रक्चर वेन द करोला इज यूनाइट एंड फ्लावर इज ब्लूम्स दैट टाइम यू विल सी ए फनेल शेप स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन सी इन द इमेज द फ्लावर ऑफ धोत्रा इज देयर and that uh, shape is looking like a funnel so this form of gamopetal scorola is considered <coughs> considered as a funnel shape or infundibuli form corolla uh, the next form is tubular corolla here here also there are five petals uh, they are united and they are just forming a tube like or cylinder like structure and just their limbs are remain free at the upper side the example of tubular corolla is a disc florete of sunflower you can see the third image that is what showing the uh, uh, tubular corolla uh, then uh, the next form of corolla that is what a bilabiate corolla bi means two and labiate or uh, two leaves are developed initially uh, first of all this is also a gamopetalus in nature uh, there are five petals Uh, these five petals unite but they divided into the two leaves uh, the first uh, uh, leaf is uh, upper one and that is uh, that develops by the union of a two petal and the lower leaf is uh, developed by the union of three petal the upper or lower may be vice versa in some flower upper may be uh, leaf may forms by union of three and lower may forms union of two it may be vice versa but two leaves are formed by the union of the some petals and that's why the corolla has given a shape uh, like a two leafed corolla or it may called as a bilabiate corolla and uh, the uh, mouth uh, the mouth of uh, these uh, two leaves is considered as a mouth of corolla and uh, this is what Uh, this kind of corolla is called as a bilabiate corolla or it may also called as a two leafed corolla it may very commonly occurs in the flowers of family like a papilionaceae uh, sorry not in papilionaceae flowers of uh, family like a lamiaceae uh, the plants like a ossimum salvia are showing the bilabiate kind of corolla so these are the different forms of a gamopetalous corolla so here we seen the different forms of polypetalous corolla and different forms of gamopetalous uh, corolla in the polypetalous we saw the cruciform corolla and papilionaceous corolla in the gamopetalous campanulate corolla funnel shape corolla tubular corolla and bilabiate corolla is there now we will see what is a function of corolla like calyx calyx has a function like a protection to the inner parts so same way what function is uh, having this second whorl of a flower i have already mentioned you that corolla is a bright color or it may very attractive in nature we may see surrounding to us different plants are uh, 
forming a different colored flowers. That colored structure is nothing but a corolla of that particular flower. And that make we that part we may consider as a flower. So corolla is a bright colored. It may be white, red, yellow, blue, orange, etc. And uh, this uh, color nature of corolla uh, uh, forms a attractive corolla. And this attractive corolla having a main function is attraction of insects or bird for the pollination. In case of the plants, they are uh, going to be pollinated by insect or birds. So uh, to attract insect and birds, uh, the corolla plays important role or important function. Some petals are scented and they possess a sugary nectar. So that nectar may be a food for the insect and uh, uh, insect birds or maybe insect like a honeybees. Uh, the honeybees may eat nectar, they may produce a uh, byproduct like a honey and uh, they may also increase the percentage of pollination and when percentage of pollinations are increased, so uh, the yield of that particular crop is also seen increased in the uh, range of uh, 10 to 15 percent and maximum 25 percent is uh, uh, increase uh, the uh, productivity. So uh, when uh, there is a presence of nectar, to collect nectar many insects, birds are visit to flower. So they can collect and simultaneously at the time of collection of nectar, they may also pollinate the uh, flower. Like a calyx. Corolla may also plays important role to protect the inner walls. There are two, uh, two inner walls are there uh, next to corolla that are androsium and gynosium. The corolla may also uh, plays uh, a role of protection to giving protection to these walls. When corolla is white color, so that white color corolla at the time of night they attract a nocturnal insect and some of the plants are get pollinated during the night time because of the white color nature of a corolla. So these are what the some important functions of uh, corolla are listed here. Now we also want to learn a uh, one of the whirl. So what is that whirl? That whirl is called as a perianth. So when we uh, see this kind of whirl, uh, perianth. Uh, I have already uh, said you that sometimes uh, in a flower we cannot recognize the calyx and corolla or we cannot make differences. Why? Because uh, the parts are of same color and when the parts of same color that whirl may collectively treated as a perianth. So perianth is generally uh, found or observed or develops in a flower of monocotyledon plants. In monocot flower, calyx and corolla are not differentiated, so the whorl form a perianth. It is often brightly colored or petaloid. It may also free or united like a corolla. So when uh, the perianth, perianth possesses the units or members, uh, they are called as a tepals. When perianth uh, or when tepals are free, so such flower is considered as a polytepalous flower. When they are united, such flower is considered as a gametepalous uh, flower like a uh, corolla. Uh, they may present in a many whorls, but all whorls or all the members or all units of a flower, they are of same color. Uh, the example is very common example of presence of perian that is what a crinum uh, lily. Uh, what are the function of perianth? Perianth may also has a same function like a corolla. They may also attract insect, they may also protect the inner whorl, uh, they may also have uh, the nectars for insect. So same functions may be there uh, like a corolla uh, to the perianth. So this is what our uh, today's topic that is a one of the whorl of uh, flower, uh, petal and uh, perian. So we learn the uh, petal, uh, their uh, forms, 
their uh, modifications we also see the period uh, we will just what we learn in this video earlier that we will just summarize corolla is what a second whorl of flower it may symmetrical or asymmetrical it has different forms like cruciform corolla papilionaceous corolla campanulate corolla funnel shape corolla tubular corolla and bilabiate corolla sometime we may not differentiate uh, calyx and corolla in the flowers of monocot so that time that whorl is considered as a perianth so we also uh, learn or study the whorl perianth in this uh, video earlier uh, so perianth is what a whorl that do not have differentiation like a calyx and corolla generally the perianth is occur in the flowers of monocotyledon plant so this is what a summary of our today's uh, video uh, what will be the uh, expected assignment on this today's video topic that is what a study of floral whorl corolla and perianth the expected assignment are what describe the forms of corolla so you have to describe the different forms of corolla you may also have to describe the functions of corolla you may also uh, say what is mean by perianth what is a function of perianth these are the expected uh, assignment on this uh, particular uh, topic corolla and perianth uh, what we will uh, see in the coming video that i will just tell you as a precap in the coming video we have to uh, learn or we have to be uh, study the next whorl of a flower and that is androsium we have to see what is mean by androsium what is the fixation of androsium anthers in the androsium uh, cohesion of uh, stamens adhesion of stamens and function of androsium in the coming video thank you